Life is a winding road. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my pack with me video for our cruise. It is our first time ever going on a cruise, and this is our first long vacation in about five years. We've always just done like mini trips. The kids are gonna be staying with our family, and it's just gonna be us. So it's our honeymoon 2.0. We just made six years of marriage, so we are so excited to be able to do this trip. So because it's our first time going on a cruise, I wanted to do an entire video just about what I am packing. I watched a bunch of videos on TikTok. I watched a bunch of other videos on YouTube to try to figure out what to bring. And I think I got a good idea of things that I want to bring. So I have almost everything here with me. I just have to wash some clothes and then Tommy's going to have his own luggage. But his luggage mainly will just consist of his clothes. So if you watched my Sheen video, then you know all of the outfits that I'm going to be taking. So I'm going to show Here, no more. I have everything literally thrown into the suitcase. Nothing is officially packed. So let's go one by one and show you what I'm packing for our cruise on the MSC Meravelia. I have my first outfit that I got from Sheen. If you haven't checked out that video, I would definitely check it out so that you could see me try on all of these outfits. All right, so in addition to those outfits that I got from Sheen, I'm gonna be bringing this black bathing suit top that I got from Old Navy. Super comfy. I don't like wearing like string bikini tops. One, my breast is too big. My back starts to hurt and it just rolls up right under my chichos. It's just not flattering at all. So I got this one that kind of like tucks it all in. It's U-shaped in the front, but it's V-shaped in the back, which I like. So that means that I'll get more exposure in my back because that's mainly where I need my tan. I think it was on sale for like $13. I'll try to leave as much stuff as I can linked in the description box. The next bathing suit top I'm going to be taking with me is this one. I got this at Target. It's on sale for $19, I think. Thing. I'm only bringing two bathing suit tops and then I have two one-piece bathing suits that I'm going to be bringing as well um, But I figured a black and a white one can't go wrong. I have three cover-ups I'm going to be taking this yellow one, which is so cute taking this white one Which is one that I use all the time. This is my my go-to cover-up And then I have this black cover-up that just goes around my waist, which is also super cute um, I'm pretty sure I got this from Sheen too a while ago a couple more outfits I'm going to be bringing are this which is just another two-piece bra Bralette and top. That's my sister. She's letting me borrow it. I'm bringing this long green dress just in case I just want to go comfy one night for dinner. And then I'm bringing this black and white jumper. Tommy has a shirt that kind of has a similar pattern as this, so we wanted to go matchy matchy. I am bringing this sweater because I hear just to bring a sweater just in case that the nights could get cold. And then for another dressy night, I am bringing my all black Kardashian dress that I've had for a long time, but I love this, my go-to little black dress. I will be bringing my jean shorts just in case we wanted to do something like more adventurous or we're like walking boardwalk or something, I'm not sure. So I just wanna bring my jean shorts just in case but I do have to wash these so I won't pack these yet um, and then I'm gonna bring two of these just regular t-shirts if we wanted to wash clothes we would have to pay to wash clothes so I just want to bring extra clothes just in case because I want to pay to have my clothes washed this brown t-shirt and then this green t-shirt I got them both at Old Navy for like four bucks I will be bringing two more spaghetti strap prop top shirts I have to wash these as well but I want to wear these to just be comfy to go to sleep in or if I wanted to wear them with like the jean shorts or something and then one of my favorite things that I got is this beach bag from Old Navy. It was on clearance for $11, I think. I wanted to get like a little cute little beach bag like this to wear with my outfits that matches everything and to take with us when we're on one of the islands. All right, and in this little bag, I stuffed a bunch of underwear, bikini bottoms. I just put that all in here so I know exactly where to find it. I'm gonna be bringing some of my little like slip-on socks just in case I wanted to wear them around the cabin. As far as shoes go, I'm gonna be bringing quite a few sandals just because I know how indecisive I am and honestly my feet swell up in the heat so I don't know which ones are gonna fit me when. So just plain old old navy sandals. You can't go wrong with these. I'm gonna bring these sandals which I got at Target. They're super stretchy so these are the ones that will fit me if my feet do swell and then i'm gonna bring these which are more like heavier duty sandals like if we were walking on like a boardwalk or something like i would want to wear these and then i'm gonna bring these these are more like dressier sandals i feel like we'll kind of go with almost all of my outfits just in case i got these at target as well i'm gonna be bringing these slide on sandals they're super cute and i feel like they'll go with all my outfits too i'm actually gonna have my toes done so i'm not gonna mind having my toes out and i found these super cute heels on clearance at the shoe department for $12. 
And these are gonna go perfect with all of my like, two-piece long pants outfits. And then this big old thing, I've seen a TikTok video of people saying to bring this, to put it obviously over the door while you're in your cabin to organize your stuff. Like you could put your underwears in there, your lotions, your perfumes and all that stuff. You kind of have it like on top of there so they're not scattered all over your cabin. And I'm like, yeah, that's genius. So I already had one, so I saved myself eight bucks. I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get, how much I'm gonna wanna vlog. I'll probably give you guys like a cabin tour or something. So I'm gonna take my little handheld tripod just in case to get some footage. So let's go into the toiletry items that we're bringing. So unfortunately, I'm bringing tampons. Sorry if that's TMI. I'm gonna bring some panty liners, some shampoo and conditioner, some travel bottles. I actually wanna put my tanning lotion inside of these bottles uh, so I can bring them with me so that they can fit in my little purse that I got that I'll show you in a minute. We got some razors, some Tide to Go. This was definitely on the top 10 things to bring on a cruise because you just never know when you're gonna need it. We just grabbed some new toothbrushes to take so we don't have to take our own and some toothpaste, a Dove soap for me, Old Spice soap for Tommy, a sunglasses case for Tommy's sunglasses, some floss picks. These will definitely be coming in handy. Some Q-tips, sunscreen, some hand sanitizer to clip onto my bag, a little deodorant that's small enough to fit inside of my bag. I sweat so easily, so I definitely need to bring this with me everywhere I go. A little mini lint roller. So cute. Some wrinkle release. So apparently you don't have access to an iron when you're in the cabin. So this is one of the things that I've seen that was recommended to bring to help get out the wrinkles from your clothes. Some body wash for me, some shaving cream for Tommy, mouthwash, face lotion. And then I, I'm going to bring this pill organizer. I don't necessarily need like the days of the week. I just wanted to bring something like this that was small enough to fit inside of my purse. And then now let's go into this little bag. I will be bringing my makeup bag. But I have a bunch of these little small sample size like lotions and sunscreen and perfume. Uh, lipsticks, chapstick, ma little mascara, just a bunch of these small little ones just in case I wanted to bring them with me and put them in my bag. I didn't have to bring my main one and then I was going to put these inside of my little bag and take them with me just in case I need to like freshen up on some moisturizer on my face and then I'm also bringing some face masks for us to do when we're in the room and these two. Alright so let's open up these Amazon packages. First thing that I got was this Dramamine. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's basically motion sickness pills. Make sure that I got these because since we've never been on a cruise, we don't know how our stomachs and our bodies are going to react. So this is definitely a must. And then I found this cute little first aid kit. Look how tiny it is. It was only $3 on Amazon. And I'm definitely putting this in the bag and then having a couple like bandages and stuff like with me inside of my bag, which let me show you the bag that I keep talking about. Look how cute. I've been wanting to get one of these for forever. I got the large one because I knew there was a lot that I was gonna wanna bring with me. So apparently once you get there, you drop off your luggage first. So they recommend you bringing like your phone chargers, Tylenol pills and all your medication and everything inside of like a little bag like this or like a purse or a carry-on. But you're gonna be walking around with it for a few hours until you actually sail away and until you have actual access to your rooms. But apparently they don't give you your luggage for a few hours after they sail away. I'm not sure if that's true, but that's that's just what I've seen from the videos. So you wanna make sure you have like your essential items with you. And this was only like $23, I think, on Amazon, and it's it's perfect. So the next thing that I got are these car chargers. We're gonna be driving to the port coming out of Brooklyn. It's about a two and a half, three hour drive for us. So the last thing that we need is for our phones to die on the way there. And the last thing that I got was this little travel pack. It basically has all of these little compartments. I got these specifically for our phone chargers, Tommy's iWatch, charger his little like game boy thing charger just so that we can have them all in one spot i think this was only like six bucks too all right so i packed some stuff inside of here and i did laundry these are all the underwears that i'm going to be taking uh, which i already have some in there these are just extra ones i decided to put our razors in here i figured that was like a safe space to put them i'm gonna wait until obviously like the morning of to like put the rest of our cables in here i fit all of our toiletry items in this bag i'm actually shocked that it all fit in here i'm gonna put this one in tommy's bag because obviously mine's already getting full and his suitcase is a lot bigger so that's gonna go in his and lastly I wanted to show you what I was gonna be wearing on me so this is tanning lotion because one of my sole purposes for this cruise is to get a tan but I also have this little sunscreen too this also has a compartment in the front to put all of your credit cards cash a driver's license your cruise cards which is something that they're gonna give you once we go in and then back here I put my deodorant I have one tampon with me just in case I put my tide to go in here hand sanitizer some band-aids and stuff and the last thing that's 
in here right now is all of the pills. Some aspirin, some allergy medicine, some Dayquil, Tylenol, Excedrin. Put a little bit of everything. That, but I am going to take like the big cases of it so that we don't have to buy any medicine there. This is going to go in the suitcase. But just in case we need anything before we get our suitcases, I packed it all in this. Sorry, y'all. I am not an aesthetic packer at all. I just throw everything in there. And as long as it all comes with me, then we're good to go. And that's it, you guys. That's everything that I'm bringing with me. It being my first time going on a cruise. I'll let you guys know after what I used, what I didn't use. So stay tuned for the next couple of videos. It's going to be our cruise vlogs. I'll share more information about the ship that we're on and all of our stops in those videos. So subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. As always, I appreciate all your love and support. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.